Hi there, baby Charlie. That's a scary mask. What's it for? Ooh, you're going to scare baby Amber when she drives by? Fun! Oh, hi, baby Amber. Nice day, isn't it? Not at all scary. Um, never mind. Yikes! Are you okay, baby Charlie? Oh, no! You couldn't see where you were going because of the mask? That's terrible! We'd better get you to the hospital! Baby Amber, can you take him? Amber, we have an emergency! Baby Charlie was in an accident. Can you help? Baby Amber brought him in. Aw, poor baby Charlie. That lump on your head looks like it hurts. Come on, baby Charlie. Amber needs to examine you. Don't worry. Baby Amber can keep you company. What do you think, Amber? Good idea. Some medicine for the pain will help. Come on, baby Charlie. You want that lump on your head to stop hurting, right? Haha, <laughs> see? Not so bad. Isn't that to bandage up baby Charlie's crane and mirror? Nice work, Amber. Ah, much better. You're nearly ready to go home, baby Charlie. Aw, oh, baby Amber has a gift for you. Ooh, it's a new horn. You'll be back to pranking everyone in Car City in no time. Ready to head home? Don't forget to grab a treat before you go. That's the best part of visiting the hospital, isn't it? Oh boy, you two look like you're about to pull another prank. Ah, I see. Here comes Amber. She won't see this coming. Hey Amber, you might want to... <laughs> wow, that was a good scare, babies. We're so glad you're feeling better, baby Charlie. Great work, Amber. See you next time, friends. Hi there, baby cars. Hi, baby Matt. Oh boy, you don't look too good. What's wrong? You don't feel well at all? Your eyes are swollen and your nose is running? Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound good. Maybe you should drive to Amber at the hospital. I'm sure she will know what to do. <laughs> 
Hi, Amber. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby Amber. Keeping the place neat? That's good. But now it looks like you have a new patient. Baby Matt doesn't feel well at all. What do you think the problem is, Amber? Okay, Baby Matt. It looks like Amber is going to take your temperature first. Open your mouth. So, at least Baby Matt doesn't have a fever. But do you think he could still have a cold? Okay, what's the next step to determine that? Good thinking, Amber. Baby Matt, open your mouth again. Amber wants to see if your throat is swollen. What is that? What happened, baby Amber? So you accidentally dropped a package of plasters on the ground and one of them stuck to your wheel? There, it's gone. Oh no, now it is stuck to Amber's windshield instead. Amber, can you get it off? Good. Please keep still for the rest of the examination, okay? Well done, Amber. Now, where were we? Baby Matt, Amber wonders where you were when all this started. So you were on the football field with the other baby cars, and the field is made of... Grass. Of course. Baby Matt, Amber says that you're allergic to grass. That is why you became ill at the football game. Good detective skills, Amber. Now, for the third time today, Matt, we must ask you to open your mouth. There, Matt. Amber says that when you feel this way again, just take a teaspoon of medicine and you'll be much better. That's right, baby Matt. Don't forget to take a piece of candy from the candy machine outside when you're leaving. Thank you for your help today, Amber. And baby Amber, please stay away from the plasters, okay? Hi again, baby cars. Hi, baby Matt. Looks like you're much better than yesterday. That's the spirit, baby Matt. We're so glad to see that you're better. Thanks for your help, Amber. You did a great job. Bye, my friends. See you later. That was some fire, Frank. Looks like you got here just in time to put it out without too much damage. Be careful, Frank. It's getting windy. Lower your ladder slowly. You don't want to break it. Oh dear, Frank, your eye is all swollen. Does it hurt? Maybe it's from the smoke. You better get to the hospital. Don't worry, Frank. Amber will make sure you're taken care of. Hi, Amber. Frank was putting out a fire at the bank, and it seems like he got something in his eye. Can you help?
Amber can see you now, Frank. Whoa, your eye is very red and puffy, Frank. You better follow Amber into the examination room. That's a bright light, Amber. What is it, Amber? Can you see what's causing Frank's eye to be so red? An ash from the fire? It must have blown through the air with all the wind. Eye drops will wash out your eye, Frank, and give you some relief. <laughs> now to double check that nothing else is in there. What's next, Amber? Baby Amber, are you a pirate? Only one eye should be covered. There you go, Frank. Amber has patched you up. Your eye will be healed in no time. Thank you for your help, Amber. And for your help too, Baby Amber. You make a good team. Back to the fire station, Frank, in case someone needs you. Have a good night, Frank. We'll check back with you in a few days to see how you're doing. See you next time, everyone. Hi, baby Katie. Hi, baby Tom. Are you two having fun? You're playing tag? That's a fun game. Count to 10 so that baby Katie can have a head start, Tom. Better slow down, baby Katie. If you get too excited, you might have an accident. Oh my goodness, baby Katie, are you okay? You better go to the hospital to have Amber check your wounds. Amber will take care of you. Hi, Amber, baby Katie had an accident. She's pretty banged up. Can you help make her feel better? Amber can see you now, baby Katie. Let's follow her into the examination room. Baby Katie had an accident, baby Amber. She was speeding at the playground and wasn't watching where she was going. Amber is going to listen to your engine, baby Katie. Sit still for a moment. Everything sounds okay. Let's take a look at those scratches and cuts on your face. Amber is going to clean your cuts, remove the glass from your headlight, and bandage you up, baby Katie.
Now it's time for ointment and a couple of band-aids. We need the band-aids, not the roll bandage. No, not those, Baby Amber. The box of band-aids. Oh, Baby Amber. There you go, baby Katie. Drink this. It's important to drink lots of liquids. There you go, baby Katie. You're all patched up. Thank you, Amber, for taking such special care of our friend. That's right. Now you can go and choose a candy from the giant candy machine in the hallway. Baby Katie is ready to go now, Baby Tom. You two should take it easy this afternoon. Good idea. Go play tic-tac-toe instead of tag. Have fun, guys. Stay safe. See you next time.